Hello everyone, it's Gromit and Thomas Fano one here, and welcome to my cracking video. There are many types of animated film studios in the world who are brilliant at making good quality films. Film studios such as Pixar, Leica and Disney who are brilliant at crafting great stories and characters. But one of the most important parts in making an animated movie is the cinematography and one of the masters of this craft is none other than our favourite stop motion studio, Ardman Animations. The art of cinematography has two simple meanings, great camera work and dynamic shots. In Ardman's stop motion movies, the cinematography is just absolutely brilliant. There are lots of great and interesting shots that the director and the director of photography must try and convey an important story point or emotion for the characters. Ardman have many directors of photographers in their studio, such as Dave Alex Rodette, who has worked on most of Ardman's films, and Charles Copping, who has worked on many of Shaun the Sheep's productions and they are brilliant at what they do. The directors of photographers work out the lighting, the camera angles and camera moves for that particular shot before the animators can start the animation. There are also many camera crews who help the directors of photography by adjusting the lights and figuring out the camera moves. What I love about the Ardman films is since most of them are stop motion productions, they feel more atmospheric and since they are stop motion films, they honestly feel more real and convey a certain mood to a scene. I love great 2D hand drawn cartoons like Phineas and Ferb and The Simpsons, but the trouble is I feel that it's hard to replicate a certain darker mood in 2D animation because the animation seems to be more colourful in places. Whereas in stop motion, it feels like the dark lighting is more effective because it's in stop motion. It feels more real. For example, let's take a look at the woods scene in The Curse of the Were-Rabbit. The dark lighting in the woods gives a certain creepiness to the whole scene, especially when the moon comes out. It also makes the viewer feel uneasy because they can sense that something bad might happen in the woods at night. The dark lighting in the film also sets the tone of what the film is about, a vegetarian horror movie. In fact, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit is a great example of its camera work and lighting because it sets the genre of the film very well, especially in the nighttime scenes. Speaking of nighttime scenes, there are some great nighttime sequences in Shaun the Sheep movie Farmageddon. The team at Ardman said they wanted to make some very atmospheric nighttime shots that they didn't explore in the first Sean movie. If you look at this shot from Farmageddon, you get a sense of a great spacious field that is set at night. The mood is set to make you feel uneasy, but also makes it feel an expansion of Sean's world. But that's not all. There are also some point of view shots that are just absolutely brilliant that make you feel that you are with the characters. If you look at this shot from Early Man, where Doug and Hognob are hiding in a ditch, there is a point of view shot where you can see the three bronze armed mammoths. The shot gives a grand scale of how big these mammoths are and also makes you feel you are at the level of the characters and it's another reason that shows off Armand's cinematic approach when it comes to great camera angles and shots. So, the next time you watch an Arban movie, 
Pay close attention to the cinematography and make sure you take into account how much hard work goes into making these wonderful films. It'll help you understand the different types of moods a scene can make you feel and how the world of stop motion is so amazing. I'm Gromit and Thomas Fano One and I hope you enjoyed the video.